it is currently 12.30 on Monday, April 26th. I'm tired. That means it's time to hunt for Pokemon cards. The lovely Walgreens in Munson, Massachusetts might be a good Pokestop. Let's find out. This is how not confident I am. I'm not bringing my wallet in. I feel like the most successful person right now. I had no expectations, yet look at what I got. A pack of battle styles. There's only one thing of Pokemon cards in the store and I got it. I feel like such a champion. Oh, see, I didn't bring my wallet in. And usually when I don't bring my wallet in, I find stuff. <laughs> Although maybe a little bit of an afterthought, I have to say thank you to whoever left that one single pack in that Walgreens because I feel like it made my day. So thank you to kind person who left a single pack there for me. But now, being one o'clock, we are going to go into the Dollar General that I found the Steam Siege packs in, as well as the Krabby Patties. Unfortunately, this Dollar General was all bought out, but you know, there's other pokey stops to be had today, so let's see what we can find. So now we got that Walgreens where I found Shining Fates uh, last time I stopped here. Now this one I am gonna bring my wallet in just in case because last time they had a lot of stuff, but uh, they might be wiped out. Mm. Only one way to find out, right? All the display that was there isn't there anymore. I just took that little clip after I bought the Blissey tin. Yeah, I got something pretty good not the best not the best deal but i know that there's some good like sun and moon era packs in here oh this sun is like blinding isn't it yeah so this is what i got it was like the only thing that was reasonable to buy right now but i'm happy i got it i'm happy to find anything these days i'm gonna see if i can find anything more i just really do love that blissey promo though like how great is that blissey's just such a fun pokemon well, I was gonna say Kmart might have Pokemon cards, but I've entered into this like suburban land. I think the weirdest part about this whole thing is that one person just standing in the middle of the parking lot, not doing anything. It's not like they're filming or talking on the phone. They're just standing there staring at the building. I don't know. Mm. It's so creepy to see the cable though like this. I mean, I used to work there like 15 years ago. <laughs> Look at it now. Oh. I mean, that private property sign's probably fair enough warning to not go in. I feel like somebody's probably sneaking in through there though without issue. What a just wasteland. I can't think of a better way to describe it than just wasteland. It's just so freaky. Or when they had those little uh, turtle sandboxes out front and soil. And this, this wasn't even too long ago, like a few years ago, maybe four or five years ago. Well, I think they shut down like a year, a year ago. Although what's creepy about this gym, so I used to go here, but then the um, owner wound up having a, a supercar and he drove it like into a bridge and killed himself. So, you know, there's good justification for that to be closed, especially in a COVID era. Can't imagine anybody wanting to take that over. A viewer had mentioned in the comments that Ace Hardware may have Pokemon cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and check since I'm driving by one. Funny thing is there used to be a Blockbuster there in that little plaza. And um, I think the Goodwill replaced the Blockbuster or it could have been like right next to it. I remember going to the Blockbuster closing sale, actually. <laughs> and that Kmart's where I bought one of my Nintendo 3DSs when they first came out. And I'm starting to feel like an old person in this video pretty bad. Well, they said they um, never even heard of an Ace Hardware selling Pokemon cards in there when I asked them. But, I mean, it wasn't a wasted trip. I did go ahead and buy this plastic tote, so, you know, definitely not a, a wasted trip there. That is useful for me. 
it's too windy to own hair today. Like, imagine if I was wearing a wig. Like, look at what the wind just did to my hair. But, uh, yeah, I never go to stores like Ace Hardware, so it's never a place I've checked before. Just because I'm all weak and, you know, not very useful. I don't do household fixing things or gardening anymore. I'm just kind of kind of weak and flimsy. So I just walked in that Goodwill to see if it actually was the old Blockbuster, and it was. They definitely did not change that counter or anything. So I just want to share that little glimpse of that. But, you know, I was looking around, definitely no Pokemon cards. Let's, let's just clear that up. But there was nothing I would even want there for free. I mean, thrifting has gotten bad since they started charging like retail for a lot of stuff. It's not what thrifting's about. So I've just kind of been over it since then, but you never know, sometimes you can find some good stuff. It's not all terrible, but there's definitely nothing good in that one. Although to backpedal to the Kmart thing, I realize I can actually still go to Kmart's. There are some in New York City. I have to go to New York City soon anyways. I might have to film a Kmart. It might, it might feel really good to do that. But yeah, we got Walmart. <laughs> It is currently about 3.30 on April 26th. I'm in the Ware, Massachusetts Walmart. When there isn't a single thing of Pokemon cards. Not a thing. It is currently Wednesday, April 28th at 5.09 p.m. I just left the dermatologist, hence the band-aid. Got to keep an eye on that skin cancer checks. So you got to keep an eye on those things. That's important. Let this be a little message. I once had one that was bad and I uh, covered it with a tattoo. Hmm. Let's see if I can uh, get a good shot of it here might be able to see that textured leaf there kind of in the middle of those three and that was a big scar from something that actually was uh potentially cancerous and i had that removed so you know definitely go keep an eye on a dermatologist if you think you might have something a little funny going on very important stuff but besides my little psa announcement there let's go hunt for pokemon cards we have two places to check in the same parking lot party city and michael's Let's start with Michael's. Well, one thing I would like to buy is that Super Mario bead kit. I love that. So I had walked around the store for a little bit. I did not find any Pokemon cards or any signs of them. I went up to the register and I asked, and she had told me that somebody had gone in there and bought them all and that they normally keep them behind the register. So if you don't see them in the store, it doesn't hurt to go up to the counter, ask them, hey, do you guys have any Pokemon cards? Because you never know. Um, thankfully it's a beautiful about 70 degrees today and I'm gonna walk on over to Party City and see if I have any luck there. Chances are if somebody bought all the cards at Michael's, uh, I don't know. But maybe just they just don't know about Party City and maybe Party City got a shipment when Michael's did not. I also asked the cashier if they restock often and she said definitely not, we don't get them in very often. So eh, I'll keep an eye out but I'm not rushing back. Party City. Look at all the candy. I never knew they had all that. It's like so you can fill pinatas probably. Oh. Look at all the balloons. All the giant letters. Cinco de Mayo. Hmm. There's only one thing I want to celebrate today, and that's finding Pokemon cards. Oh, you know, it's probably better if I just go to the register and ask, but I really wanted to walk around and see what's in here. Because I don't even remember the last time I was in a party city. Like, if ever. That is a giant... Pokemon Pikachu. <laughs> Look at all that. I love the Pokeball one. That's really fun. Oh, that's all so cool. Well, I know where I'm coming to decorate for my birthday. Oh, I want that pinata.
So as you saw, there was Yu-Gi-Oh, there was Magic cards, there were no Pokemon cards in stock at Party City. But I did think that, you know, they had some cool things in there in general, just, you know, the Mario and Pikachu decorations, balloons. And then the, I had to grab up some of those uh, Mario Wonder Balls or whatever they are. <laughs> I grabbed up like four of them because that to me would make like a fun little afternoon, open them up, seeing what you get, make it a little YouTube video out of them. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for me today. I can't think of where else I would wanna go right now in this area. All right, everyone, here we go. Pokemon hunting time again. It is April 29th. It is 3.44 in the afternoon, evening. We're kind of in the middle there. I am going to try somewhere that I don't think we've tried yet. Hobby Lobby. I have found Pokemon cards at this one. Coupons do work with them. Um, I haven't been in here recently, so let's see if we find anything. It is very moist outside, but at least I have a fun umbrella. How fun is my umbrella? There are zero Pokemon cards inside of this Hobby Lobby. Very unfortunate, but maybe I'll get lucky at Target. It is the day before they changed the rules where you can only buy one thing at a time, so maybe they have some stuff on the shelf, who knows? Can't hurt to look, it's right down the street. Okay, currently 4.10. Going into Target here in South Windsor, Manchester line. I've been getting a lot of trainer toolkits out of here. And a week ago, I wasn't filming it. But I found like a whole bunch of Shining Fates. And I just freaked out and just threw it in my arms and like paid for it and walked out. Along with some Vivid Voltage. It was on a Thursday too. I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate I didn't film it because it was such a good find. But um, there could be something in here. I don't know if you guys saw that sign. It said to inquire at the front desk about cards, which I did, and they said they don't have any in stock. So I'm just going to do a little bit of shopping and get out of here. Well, hello, everyone. It is now May 3rd. Um, I'm up in Massachusetts for a doctor's appointment, so I might as well hunt for Pokemon cards. I had pretty bad luck last week, as you know, trying to find stuff, but I also didn't try my hardest. So today might be a little bit better. I'm going to be more in the western Massachusetts area. Right now I'm in Belchertown. I'm going to go over to Holyoke. Might stop in Ludlow. Might stop in Chicopee. Might even go to Enfield, Connecticut. Let's see what we can find. Now, Belchertown is quite the lovely town, despite the funny name. Lots of, uh, lots of cows, lots of nice windy country roads. If you're looking for a nice rural getaway, I would give, uh, Belchertown, Massachusetts a, uh, a 7.5 out of 10. You might be hoping for more restaurants, but it does have cows. Maybe I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Now, there's a couple little cute cows over there. So, being in Ludlow, Mass, now, I'm not actually sure where to search for Pokemon cards. I'm going to go into that CVS over there, but I really can't think of where else to go. I might just head straight over to Holyoke and go to the Holyoke Mall in that general area. I'm kind of clueless right now. I guess if you're in Ludlow and you know anywhere to shop for Pokemon cards, well, let me know in the comments. I'm still enjoying my cheeseburger, though. Really, no more Diet Coke. I even asked my doctor. He said some of those artificial sweeteners, like in Diet Coke, can cause headaches. Mm. So I'll just stick with a nice, a nice iced latte for now. Refreshing, not as satisfying as Diet Coke to me, but I'm definitely kind of <laughs> my diet. <laughs> oh, I'm not finding a thing in here. It is, uh, not looking promising. Uh-uh. I walked around there for a while. There was, there was just nothing. But the day's not over. It's just beginning. We're going to pull through. We're going to find something. Okay, now I'm in 
Holyoke, Massachusetts, one o'clock in the afternoon on May 3rd, and uh, look at what I just found. Barnes and Noble. One of the best pokey stops I've been to in the past few months. I'm gonna see if they have any cards. Given that Holyoke is pretty much the complete opposite of Belchertown, as in it couldn't be less rural, I think if it tried. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty high population here. A lot of people shop in this area. Unlikely I'm gonna find anything, but I'm still gonna check. Now that's a Barnes & Noble. Went to the register and there's none at the register and they said to check upstairs, but they don't think there's any. Although, fun fact, I've never been to a second floor in a Barnes & Noble. So this is kind of cool. <laughs> it's a first for me. Yeah, definitely nothing here, but that book looks kind of cool. I might pick that up. I feel like I've fallen from grace. Not providing the uh, good scores like I used to. Did Bed Bath & Beyond like go out of business? Because they closed one in West Hartford too. Well, now I'm at the Holyoke Mall. Best Buy over there behind me. And I'm actually going to be meeting Jamie because he wants to tag along for the adventure. So we're going to see if we can find anything Pokemon cards related in this mall. Not holding my breath. It's a mall. But we got to try. I'm also going to change my hat because it doesn't match my blue backpack. That's, I don't know. I don't like not matching that much. <laughs> All right, everybody, look at who I found. Jamie! Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Jamie! Hey, Hillary, how's everything going? Fantastic. So we're going to go into Best Buy. We're going to go into Target. We're going to go into Hobby Lobby. We're going to see what other stores are in here. We're going to try and find some Pokemon cards. Absolutely. And it's my first time at this mall, so so this is really, really cool for me. And I haven't been here in years myself since I lived up this way, so... It's gonna be a fun little change of pace for us. We might get lucky, we might not, but no matter what, we're gonna have a fun time. Absolutely. They definitely have a solid Lego selection at Best Buy as usual, but here would be the Pokemon cards and here is where they are oh, not. Wow. <laughs> Completely wiped out. It's like, it's like the Sahara Desert. That's how barren <laughs> it is. I know, right? This is pretty bad. <laughs> well, thanks for nothing, Best Buy, but uh, we got the rest of them all to view. And it looks like there are no Pokemon cards in the vending machines. Unfortunately, no. And I, I haven't been here in so long that it's so weird. Like, I don't even think that Forever 21 was in that location before. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I don't remember that. At all. We've got a pretty barren mall situation here. You know, some stores closing. I remember that used to be a guest store. I don't even know if they have physical stores anymore. This wasn't there last time I came here. And there was a Sears over here. And of course, that's not there anymore. Once again, a CVS vending machine. Looks like this one might be shut down or I'm just not close to it or touching it. But no Pokemon cards in there either. Nope. Here we got Billy Bees, which looks to be like a Discovery Zone kind of place. Maybe. I'm kind of interested. I wish they were open. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd check it out. Hold on. We got a round one. We got an arcade bowling, karaoke, billiards, food and bar. There's people down there, but they just have this entrance closed. So I'm going to have to uh, go downstairs. We're going to have to go in there and check that out. That looks awesome. Yeah. You pull the guard. It says close. Please follow the instructions below. No, uh, that's okay. We can do that. We can, yeah, we can go so down there and check that, that out. Like a, looks like it'll be a fun time. Yeah. We just saw a sign over there that says Pokemon. We might have to go check that place out, whatever that is. So now we're going to go ahead and check Target before we check anywhere else, because time could be of the essence with that. Target! Target, Target! So there is the Pokemon sign when you walk in, and completely devoid of Pokemon cards. Although I like their selection of magic. I'm not seeing any Yu-Gi-Oh! either. And, and, I, and I saw these magic box sets i thought they looked really cool but then i noticed a few of them are open like this it's kind of like unfortunate if people are just going around stealing cards like that but you know that's you know just one of the many problems we have in society right now but we're gonna go check customer service while i'm in target i just want to bring up a little fun fact here about me i am about five feet tall i am very small 
7 8 pants, however, might be the only ones that fit me. I have about a 23 inch inseam at best. And, um, you know, I don't feel like I'm 7 8 of a person. You know, why don't we just make clothes for people that are small? They don't do that enough. Calling them 7 8 pants or capris. You know, where's the pants for we people? Yeah, there's big and tall, so maybe there should be short and small, too. Yeah, I don't feel feel like that's asking much of people in society. I'm not uniquely small. There's plenty of small women and, and men out there. It's just it's just a fact. Make clothes for normal-sized people, please. Yeah, so Target is only selling them at 8 a.m. on Fridays, and that's it. So there's no exception that they won't sell cards on a Thursday or Wednesday or a Tuesday or a Monday, like it is today, it's Monday. So there's no option to buy anything at all. I have wanted to go to Box Lunch for a while, so we're gonna go in and check it out. They have a ton, oh, oh no, oh no. I've always wanted to go here and they're closed. <laughs> I was... That's too bad because it looks like a really cool store. Oh, they got a ton of cool stuff. I see there are like ads online and there's a lot of stuff I'd buy, but I'd rather shop in person. Oh, what a shame. There's probably like a ton of stuff in there I would have bought right now. <laughs> I'm so bummed out. Oh, that's where the Sears used to be years ago. Sears, what is that thing? <laughs> Some kind of ride. Yeah, I'm just uh, a little underwhelmed here today. I, and I asked that Build-A-Bear if they had the Pokemon ones left. They only had uh, Eevee. I love Eevee, don't get me wrong, but I was looking for like Dragonite and Mew. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that dollar store won't have Pokemon cards because it's not one of the regular chain ones. It's dollar and things. It's not like family dollar or anything. Ah, so there really are a lot of no-name stores here in the mall now. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not totally surprised by that. There used to be a Fredericks of Hollywood, I believe, right there, and they haven't been around in a while. But it's still really good to come to a place that you either haven't been to before or, or in your case, haven't been in a while. Yeah, it's just fun to see how much it's changed, but uh, we're going to try and get into that GameStop and check it out see what they have. I still haven't picked up the Pokemon Snap, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to pick that up while I'm here. Yeah, and I, and I want to get that too, because I remember playing the N64 Pokemon Snap, and that was always a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I love that game. St I still love the N64 one, so definitely can't hurt to pick this up. So, you know, we, get, we got we got some some magic, some Yu-Gi-Oh. Got some really cool uh, Pokemon D &D toys. Box set. Yeah, but um, yeah, definitely no Pokemon cards, and they said they have nothing in stock behind the register that face mask. It's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but we did each grab up a copy of Pokemon Snap, which is super and, and, exciting. And they got some nice looking dice over here. Oh, look at those, like, bloodstained ones. Those are cool, too. I have to go on the dark ones. Love me some good dice. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll head out of this GameStop. At least we did get something good, though. Now we got Hobby Lobby, and that is a place that is known for Pokemon cards, but I kind of doubt that there's any packs of Pokemon cards for sale in the small at this point. But we don't know until we try. That's right, anything's possible. Bad hair day. That's a hat for every day of my life. There's one thing that I always used to love about summer as a kid is catching bugs. I love the bug net. I love little bug holders so they can breathe in there. Oh, that is so fun. <laughs> Well, a store employee was nice enough to call and have them search and back for us. So we're heading to the back of the store where they have them and we're going to be able to buy some now. Hopefully. She says that she has them. Well, we actually did it. We it's found so Pokemon cards. I cannot believe it. That's where the Sears used to be as well. But yeah, this is nuts. Who would have thought Hobby Lobby would be the MVP of the day? That's, I did it. That's I didn't why it that. pays to, to check a lot of different stores. Yeah, this was a great score. So Jamie got four of them and I got three of them. And, and, and some I got thing. some great sketch pads too. Yes, absolutely. And I'll look, be doing a lot of really nice drawings on them. Yeah, so these are a great buy. They were like really marked down. If you can see, there's like they were all marked down to even less than that. 
So Jamie likes to do drawings. We're gonna be uh, probably sharing those notepads. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Sketch and, pads, I and, and I say. just think it's really cool that, uh, that that the packs we got have have score bunny in them because in uh, in Pokemon Sword. That, that, that's the Pokemon I picked when I first started. And what a great Pokemon. And I love that it has Sobble and, uh, what's the other one? Grookey, Grookey on it as well. Yeah. Cinnabon, a delightfully sugary classic. I won't be getting a Cinnabon cinnamon roll today though. My doctor said I gotta watch my sugar. <laughs> So this is kind of wild because this used to be Dick's Sporting Goods and this place had like um, this Mia Moore place had like a big store in Auburn before they left. I feel like they're like a chain. I feel like the Auburn one closed down, but this one is surviving. <laughs> I don't see a single person in there, but that is a massive space. Massive, just like yeah, the other and, one. And from how vast and open it looks inside, uh, it, it does look like a place that used to be a Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah. And there I, is a cashier right over here. Yeah, so there's one cashier and I don't see a single person otherwise. Very interesting. Oh, there's that round one place. We might be able to go in there. Looks like they have a lot of Pokemon stuff here. Yeah, they sure do. That is fantastic. Look at all that. Oh, and more packs over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. What? Well, look at how much you Veltal's worth. Well, worth and asking is two different things. Right. Because I Excellent assure you, point. it's not worth <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an This might be some of the wildest prices I've ever seen. Crimson Invasion. Three ten for bucks of the voltage. Shiny face pins. What do they want for those? Uh, Three. <laughs> <laughs> what? They actually have Digimon. Dude, all straight from Japan. They got Japan train tickets still in them. That one I just looked at was more art pictures and stuff. That's what a lot of them are. But this one's older stuff. Look at that, man. Wow. Well, so those prices were dramatically above retail for the sealed product. Uh, really nice guy, though. Super cool. Like, he talked to me. He says, you know, he tries to do what he gets um, allotted when he orders wholesale. He does that around MSRP. But then when he buys off the scalpers to have product in store, he has to mark it up, which understandable. But uh, I just can't believe what some of those things were going for. It's just wild to me that that's where we're at with prices right now. But uh, he's probably like not that far off when it when it comes to like what people will pay. I'm sure he's actually selling a lot at those prices. Just because we're going through the mall, we're going through all these stores. There's nothing for sale. We got like the only things for sale. And he says kids will wait in line at Target, buy the one item that they can buy, and then flip that. 
and go in there and like make money off of him. So he's got to mark it up and eventually it'll all be gone, I'm sure. I'm sure he's going to sell out of all of it. But we'll go back and check there and stop in and see him from time to time because he was, he was super nice. But we got a few yeah. things in there. Yeah, we, we still found some cool stuff. I found a couple of packs of Star Trek cards, which I thought were cool. Yeah, and I bought some singles and I bought some of the jumbo cards because I like those. But yeah, just a just a very interesting experience for sure. He was sharing some of the yeah, cool and, cards he and got. And there in. were some some good uh, single Pokemon cards there. That yeah. Picked up. Yeah, and you know he he had some cards. He said he's gonna send them in and get graded. So total respect for that. He, he's he's got probably got a serious collection at home. I bet. <laughs> That guy might actually be somebody I might want to try and do an interview with when it comes to the scalping situation because I feel like he's got a lot of input to add. Ugh, now that we, we're, unfortunately we're not going to have time to really go in there and check it out, but, but it, it really looks like, looks like really, really yeah, it looks like a giant, like, overgrown, oh, space invaders, I love space invaders! It reminds me of places like Spare Time. Oh, yeah. Galaga? Oh, man. It's hard to say oh, no to that. Well, we're definitely coming back here. That's for sure. <laughs> this is going to be the grand finale. Stateline Video Games, which we visited in Enfield a long time ago. I know only a few people saw that video, but they opened a giant store in here, which we're really excited about. Oh, wow. Yeah, they have some minty inbox games there. Some less minty ones here. Oh, but still, that is a. Uh... Ooh, -hoo -hoo. why does that one look sealed? Oh, it's definitely not. <laughs> this is really cool. Bart versus the world. I used to have that game. I remember and, those days. And I have uh, Bart versus the Space Mutants. Oh, do you? Oh, then we got S N E S. Wow, look at how many oh, complete very box, cool. man. This is cool. Those, yeah, those Tetris games look good. I got so many games. Wow. Yeah, Breath of Fire and Seventh Saga in the boxes. <laughs> Dreamcast games is a pretty decent selection. I've got a couple new Dreamcast controllers and uh, memory cards. and Very nice. Well, I think they call it the VMU, the virtual memory unit. But yeah, this, this is a pretty solid uh, collection there. Oh, Sega Dreamcast web browser, brand new. I almost bought one of those. Oh, they got, they got a couple new ones there. Huh. Special edition posters. Oh, look at that Mario cabinet, the TV Very cabinet. Cool. <laughs> nice. This is too nuts, man. This is too oh, nuts. Hillary, look, look at how much they're charging for that high school musical game. I have a feeling that's a joke, and that is pretty yeah. funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, could, you're right. It could be a joke. I mean, uh, it'd be kind of funny if I asked them what, if I could uh, buy it. <laughs> Ooh. Got the uh, very fun. Uh, oh, the Wii U. Wow. Wii U too. We got uh, some switches. Looks like there's switch lights. Yeah, we got a switch over there. The Animal Crossing. Ooh, an Atari. Oh, this is just thoughts. So many good things in here. I think them moving to the mall was a good choice. <laughs> no, actually, there's a bunch more that he laughed about. Yeah, no, no, I was just going to have a five or six. It has a Pikachu, a Togepi, and a Mega Cup on it. Does it have one? Yeah. 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 
There was one game that if I re get, I'm going to have one that was part of the PSP. Ooh, yes. friends that would be blown away by this N64 collection right here available for sale and they mount that are in boxes still I don't see anything too thrilling here for the inbox stuff I mean Chip Force Gemini looks pretty good but uh and I'm not too excited about Madden 99 it's not Madden 08 I paid big bucks for some man in Hawaii. Yeah, wow. Jamie's having a good old round of Super Mario 2. Oh yeah, one of, one of my favorites from back in the day. <laughs> Good job. I wonder if Wii games are starting to get a little scarce. I mean, I find it hard to believe considering how many people bought it, but I don't know, they're just not popping up like they used to, I guess, the Wii's. I think everybody's just holding on to stuff because of the pandemic, though. Look at all the turtle stuff up there. The old Pokemon V. Oh, they got a power glove. I, I, yeah, I used to have a Ninja Turtles lunchbox years ago. I think not so that, good. not I think that exact I, one, but I yeah. did have one. They got like all the original movies. Loving the uh, Mario Kart wall here too. Well, we had a great time here at the mall today. Unfortunately, we are out of time. I have to get home, but we had a lot of fun. We got some great scores. Yes, this was a really fun trip. We found found a lot of great things. I was just really bummed out that uh, <laughs> the only packs we found, and they weren't even retail, was at Hobby Lobby. But they're great packs. Those promos are out of this world. So that was really cool. Yeah. And we will be back. Oh, we'll definitely be back. We're going to come back in a few weeks, and we're going to film some different stores. And uh Definitely check out that arcade. That is so cool. But, yes, uh, that, that, that will be a lot of fun. Yeah, May 3rd was not a bad day today. Well, okay, everyone. I feel like that's a good place to leave it before we do the recap and some closing thoughts here. I got another piece of fan mail. This is from Shelly. I had to go ahead and cover the address because I wouldn't want to do that to somebody put their address out there. And it says, please review. So I haven't opened this yet, but thank you, Shelly, for sending me mail. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at this. Shelly bit 10 additional game cards. Oh, so they have Instagram and YouTube and a uh, little disclaimer there Not associated with Pokemon or Nintendo. So Shelly must be, um, you know, selling packs like this or giving them away. So this is super exciting. 
Oh, well, thank you, Shelly. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what we got for cards. This is so cool. We got a Plusle. Oh, Shinotic. So I uh, just did the Fairy Rise booster box, and that was a card in Japanese that I got. Pelipper, Manectric, Metatite. Ooh, we got a Reverse Hollow Rare Magmotar. Oh, wow. Oh, we got a Karen, which is a promo. Oh, Karen's awesome. Oh, cool. Ooh, we got a lot like a glossy reverse hollow water energy. Oh, I love this one. I'm a big water person myself. These ones are cool. I think these ones probably came out of like um the higher end pre-constructed decks, like the battle arena decks, when they have that little bit of a glossy feel to it. So we got a wingle. And a float stone. So this was super, super cool. So Shelly must be having a business selling cards. I'm going to have to look this up. I haven't looked it up while at the time of filming this. But thank you so much, Shelly. I'm going to um, put, I'm going to find the link to Shelly's YouTube and uh, Instagram. Put that in the description. Thank you so much, Shelly, for that. You are awesome. I'm all extra happy now after receiving that fun little package in the mail. <laughs> So yeah, let's do a quick recap of everything I picked up in the past couple weeks here. So that first day, I got a single Battle Styles that I remember being super happy about. I got a Blissey Tin from that other Walgreens. Then the next time we went Pokemon card hunting, I came up empty-handed. I did grab these Mario beads, which will be fun, and these uh, Mario Wonder Balls. Then uh, the last day that I filmed here, yesterday, I picked up uh, these three Vivid Voltage packs. Jamie had purchased four of them. I let him, you know, have the extra one because uh, he needs cards more than I do right now. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Snap, which, you know, still sealed. I'm super excited to open this up and play it. And then I also grabbed up the Sega Dreamcast web browser because I'm weird. And then a Mario Kart with Yoshi. How great is this? And then um, this DBZ shirt, which I didn't uh, film. I mean, getting that, it was just kind of like an afterthought on the way out of the mall. I was like, oh, Jamie, stop. Look at this. Let's uh, go ahead and grab that. But uh, it's probably like the most expensive t-shirt I ever bought. But I just liked it too much to not buy it. <laughs> so yeah, to be honest with you guys, you know, that was a, kind of a frustrating Pokemon card hunting experience there in the past couple weeks. Uh, you know, it's getting harder and harder for me to try and find things in the store. A, because, you know, I'm I'm pretty busy with YouTube now. You know, you, you got a lot of stuff you got to do between that and OnlyFans and trying to do Instagram, trying to do everything else. So between that and my actual job, I am kind of busy. But I, I, of course, need to make time to hunt for Pokemon cards. I used to have way more time to hunt for Pokemon cards. And I used to not buy things if they were at retail. I used to be like, oh, who pays 40 bucks for an ETB? You know, so if you go back and look at some of my videos from a year ago, when I first started filming Pokemon cards, um, it'll be like, oh, yeah, I grabbed this up for 30 bucks, 18 packs. Eh. You know, it was a deal, so I bought it. But uh, now it's like you find some of that retail, you're like, oh, my goodness, I get to buy this at retail? No way. So, <laughs> you know, I'm happy to pay the inflated prices at Walgreens and the inflated prices. Oh, that lighting is looking a little weird. I don't know if that's my can't. Huh. <laughs> um, the inflated price at Walgreens and, st and Hobby Lobby and stuff. So that's saying something. I'm overpaying for some things for sure that I pick up. Well, compared to retail, but feels good to just find stuff out in the wild. And, you know, Target now limiting things to just Fridays. Well, I work Fridays. And when I work, I work a lot. I work like the whole day. So it's going to be really hard for me to get over there on a Friday unless I'm 
going in later in the day and have nothing to do during the day. So this is kind of putting me in a tough spot. I might not find Pokemon cards at Target again. Or anytime soon, I should say. But I'm sure Pokemon will fix their print supply issue. But, you know, this one I just... I came up really empty-handed with the Pokemon card hunting. I feel kind of bad about it, but... I'm already determined to start filming again and make another Pokemon card hunting video. I'm definitely going to do some traveling when I have a week off of work. I'm going to go to some pretty different places. Jamie and I are going to make some good road trips and we're going to find some stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. I hope you had fun watching it and uh, me taking you guys on the adventures. And, you know, do let me know in the comments what you think and if you guys have had any luck finding Pokemon cards lately. I want to hear it. I'm cheering you guys on. I will still be posting a lot more videos because I do have a surplus of Pokemon cards, so don't think I'm not going to be posting opening videos because I'm not dependent on finding stuff because back before the Pokemon card craze really took off, I had bought a bunch. I'm so glad that I did because if I had to do it now, that would be tough. I mean, you guys saw that one store that I went to. Those prices were disgusting. I mean, I, and like I said, I don't blame the guy. The guy was a nice guy. I hope to go back and talk to him and film with him. But he says he sells at retail when he can. And when he buys from the scalpers, that's when the prices go up and people are still paying it, he says. Uh, I wouldn't, but that's me. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a thumbs up if you haven't yet. And um, I'll see you very soon with another Pokemon card hunting video. I could put one out as soon as next week, but probably two weeks from now. I want to um, space it out a little and go to a few different places. But I have a lot of good things I'm going to film, so stay tuned. Take care, everyone.